So this is our annual Cancer Voices Conference and we run it to really bring people affected by cancer together because we feel they're experts by experience and they can really help shape cancer services so that they are very personalised and that they mean something to those people that are accessing those services. I think it's incredibly important for us to uh, understand what matters to patients with the delivery of their care. Um, and that isn't just about the acute stage of their treatment, that is about their journey through the system and the aftercare and support that's available to them. So for patients living with and beyond cancer, we're supporting them adequately. The patient community has got a set of values, a set of principles around good engagement, about respect, and, and actually about putting the patient first. We talk about it all the time, but what patients will see is organisations putting themselves first or barriers between services making it difficult for them to access. And that's where they need to hold the system to account to say, you said that you were focused on patients. You said that you were going to make it easy for us to access and make the journey smooth. And we're not seeing that. The impact I would hope for is that the professionals are not just listening and not just ticking boxes and saying, great, we did an engagement event, but actually using the information and coming back to the community, asking what needs to be done if it's not obvious, and then reporting back to say, yes, we've done this, and this will make a change. Me, myself, I'm a patient representative, so I sit on various uh, hospital groups, as well as groups in the community and Macmillan groups, and I think it's important to keep involved and to uh, keep the information and then to empower others to get involved because my experience will be different from someone else's. Well, it's all about information to make um, decisions so, and maybe time as well. So any person who goes away and then they need the information, they've got the information but they can't uh, maybe understand all the English, so maybe they need it in BSL or they need video information, uh, like information about the treatment, about the operations, what does that involve, maybe what the dangers and what the risks are and that kind of thing. We need to kind of make sure that um, patients can make their own decisions about things. And it's a matter of trying to get the professionals to understand from a patient's point of view. Little things count. The wrong word matters. Words do matter with this because you're very vulnerable. Well, today for me personally was about, about connections and making awareness because for my background there's not enough actual, I'd say, representation, i.e. in the black community. Definitely in, in Macmillan and in other cancer um, areas. So I've come here today just to mix and match together can make things happen. We recognise that there's voluntary groups, support groups, we've got Health Watch, we've got community voluntary sector and the third sector and a lot of those support groups are representative of the communities within their, their area so it's important that we actively go out and seek those groups and make sure that we have that good representation from across the community. So one of the main things I want to see out of this year's conference is really an ongoing dialogue between patients and NHS and charities like Macmillan so that we really do continue to ensure that their voice, their experience shapes everything we do.